We decided to design a night safety bicycle, which we decided to call the Tron bike or Tron cycle. And the main idea is when you're riding at night, it's very important to be visible. Um, so the first thing we did um, was first we have a headlight and a taillight with LEDs that are both very bright. And we decided to install RGB LEDs in the wheels, you can see here. And we have diffusers to make them more visible. Um, we also made it interactive. Uh, with our control box up here. And another really important thing to us was to make this project sustainable. So we actually have a generator on the back wheel, you can see right here, um, which can provide power for our whole entire system. Um, however, we did want to include backup power. So we do have two 9 volt batteries which are concealed in the headlight. And um, we have a power management chip which can actually switch from the generator um, power to the batteries if you're not pedaling or if you're ped pedaling too slow. So that provides um, kind of a backup if you're at a stoplight or a stop sign. The generator that we specifically chose to use here, it's on a like, little spring-loaded bracket so it rubs with a rubber drive wheel on the wheel. And uh, we chose to use a stepper motor for that. And the reason being is because we wanted to produce voltage at a really low speed. And we didn't want to have to go really fast in order to power anything. So we actually used a stepper motor and we found that it um, outputs AC voltage and we ran those through bridge rectifiers to convert it to DC voltage. And then um, we found that it's not, uh, the voltage isn't proportional to the speed. It makes the voltage at really low RPMs, so therefore it works like from a standstill. And uh, with the chip that she was talking about, it does almost instantly, you don't have to pedal very fast before it converts over entirely to the generator. Here we have slip rings mounted on the wheels, and they're just um, thin copper sheets that are cut into circles, and there's four of them, and then those are routed through the wires in the wheel that go to each of these individual RGB LEDs. And the reason there's four slip ring contacts is because there's three different colors, red, green, and blue for the LED, and then a common ground. And then that is connected to the generator and the batteries through spring-loaded contacts in here that just rub on those rings and convert the power to the rotating shaft. And everything is controlled from this little box up here. And we have using the PIC-16 F777, and it's a 40-pin PIC. And we decided to use that one because it's the um, smallest pick that has three pulse width channels on it and we have to do that for the uh, wheel LEDs. We have a little servo on here that tilts the screen when um, power is applied and I'll show you that right now. And we decided to use this servo to tilt the screen because when you're sitting at a bike rack, you don't really want your LCD tilted, but when you're riding, it's, it's nice to see that uh, display right there in front of you. So we decided to do that. <laughs> we do have automatic lights, so at night, if you switch it to auto mode, it will automatically turn on the headlight and tail light. There's also an on function, so that's the auto. You can switch it over to on, which will have the LEDs on as well. And then to select a color, we have a list of colors just kind of through the color spectrum, Roy G. Biv, white, and then also Tron. We have Tron color. Um, and to select those, we have an incremental rotary encoder that moves a cursor, and then a push button on the encoder as well which then will make the selection. So you can run through the different list of colors and click the encoder and it will turn the wheels whatever color you have selected on the LCD screen. So, yep, and then as soon as we start spinning it, obviously like we talked about earlier, it will change everything from the battery to the generator automatically and then back again when the generator can you see okay? Yep. Okay. It's back with LCD. Alright, nice. <laughs> There's a Tron color, alright. Yep. Oh yeah.